Thanks for tuning in. My name is Ole Sievertsen and I have a simple question. Is the transition to Windows 7 and the adoption of virtual desktops going to be a short-term technology refresh or will it be a strategic direction for your business? I have recently been on the road for a week doing seminars together with Microsoft and other partners and the team for this roadshow was the transition to Windows 7 and VDI solutions. And during this week, I had the pleasure of meeting nearly 150 skilled IT people and managers from various companies and organizations. And in the face of all these people, I discovered what is perhaps the most important thing for today's client and desktop solutions. And especially in the light of all the pending projects we have for transitioning to Windows 7 or virtual desktops today. And what I would like to describe to you is how this transition can be made a strategic direction rather than just remaining another tactical and short-term technology refresh. You know, one of the challenges of the traditional Windows desktops is that they are relatively static. Static meaning that they require a lot of manual maintenance. Administration of static solutions will lead to a lot of customization, scripting, along with manual tools. This is complex, expensive to maintain, inflexible, and in fact, not very user-friendly. The solution to this is dynamic desktops. A dynamic desktop is a Windows-based workspace. It may be physical or virtual, or a combination of those. And this workspace is aware of the situation and context of the user at any given time. And in accordance with this, dynamically adapts the content and appearance of the workspace. Being aware of the situation or context and having the ability to dynamically adapt uh, to this situation is well known in many areas. Take the car as an example. It may be aware that it is raining and then it can start the wipers at the correct speed. Yet some cars are aware of objects approaching when reversing and alerts immediately. The display of radios and the console, they can change the level of contrast and appearance when it, the surroundings are dark versus light. And some cars may even dim the high beam automatically when approaching other cars at night. These features make life easier. Easier for the user. There is no need to dig through the user manual or to call the service center when you want to find out about the advanced features of your car. The user can focus fully and completely at the task of driving. The result is increased enjoyment and improved productivity and greater security. Like the car, also a technology-rich Windows desktop or workspace can be intelligent or dynamic. In the office, the user needs to access a unique combination of applications data, printers, and user settings. This is a personal workspace. And when the user moves to another location and logs in there, the content and appearance is delivered in accordance to who the user is, the current role or situation, the location, what client is used, and the time of day. For this location, access to a local printer is automatically provided. And if the user logs on to the laptop from home, the workspace is aware of where he is now and dynamically adapts to the home location and current time. For security reasons, access to sensitive data and application is blocked from this location. But in the evening here, the user gets access to service like iTunes and his music. If your organization is planning to implement Windows 7 or virtual desktop solutions, the gains can be far greater by first 
or simultaneously making the move to dynamic desktops. In July this year, RES Software conducted a survey related to Windows 7 and virtual desktop adoptions and challenges. Nearly a thousand CIOs and IT professionals participated in this survey. And among these, eight out of 10 have decided to move to Windows 7. And nearly half of them are going to implement virtual desktops. The greatest concern is the migration of user profiles, loss of productivity and dissatisfied users. This can easily be addressed by introducing dynamic desktops as part of the project. The survey also shows that the vast majority expects to use between 7 and 18 months for the complete project. Analysis, design and testing are the phases that are expected to consume the most time. A traditional project will bring the traditional infrastructure from a static Windows XP or Vista solution to a new but still static Windows 7 desktop. Alternatively, from a static local desktop to new but still static virtual desktops. When planning to use 7 to 18 months to introduce a new desktop solution anyway, why not reap the rewards of making the new platform dynamic? This will also ease migration headaches, provide better quality and reduce risk for the project. It will even ensure that your users retain their personal settings and preferences so that they can be fully productive during and after the migration. I hear from many IT professionals about these projects that they have a lot of resource problems, there are challenging milestones, deadlines, there is always an urgency, ah, and in a busy workday I can fully understand that these challenges leave little time and reflection for the overall long-term goals. But remember that speed is rarely a good compensation for the lack of direction. My advice is stop and decide on a strategic direction before you jump to tactical technology upgrades. An operating system itself is no strategy. And the transition to Windows 7 that is only a tactical choice of technology. If the vision is to deliver more effective tools for company employees and to drive overall productivity, the introduction of dynamic desktops is a clear and sound strategy. A strategy for future ready desktops. Thank you for listening. My name is Ole Sievertsen and you can follow me on Twitter at OK Sivertsen.